Hello everyone. The first session of JE Paper 2 has been completed today. We would be discussing about shift one of the JE Paper 2 that has been conducted. We'll be looking at some of the questions. We'd also be looking at students' uh, reviews, reactions, and uh, how exactly most of them felt. A basic summary of how the exam went. And we'll also look at some of the questions which we have collected. Hello everyone. This is Suraj and you have with us the academic head of uh, thing, which is uh, Sachin sir, joining in this question paper analysis session. So we'll start with a brief summary. So most of the students had uh, given their opinion that it was sort of a medium paper, but this is a more of generic uh, response that students have given. So talking about something specific, if I'm going to talk about uh, the most anticipated part of the exam, that was obviously mathematics. And most of the students have said that that was the toughest or in fact, the longest. We would love to hear the reaction of all the students who have uh, written the exam. By the he, when will you analyze second shift paper? We would do it, we would do it. We've, we've just started collecting the questions. We would do it very uh, shortly. So most of the students uh, have uh, felt that mathematics was obviously the toughest portion in fact, and it was also the longest. But uh, something interesting that I found, which, which we have been observing for the last, uh, let's say two or three years is that if you look at the number of questions that's done by, let's say 80% of the students, it would be 10 or 12 questions, just 10 or around 12 questions. So the top 20% or 15% would only be doing about 12 questions. So that is something that is quite interesting. So, if students who are going to write the session two that's uh, happening in the next month are watching this, a very good reminder for every one of you would be, if you can achieve that number about 10 or about 12 and all in mathematics, correct correct answers, the correct, correct attempts of 10 or 12 questions and all, that would be really great. Okay, so that, that's a general trend that we have seen. I'm not guaranteeing that you might get a 99.9 percentile or you might enter SBA Delhi if you do that. But still, that's the general trend that we have been seeing, and it's almost the same. So if you do about 10 correct questions, and if you do about 12 correct questions, that seems to profoundly change the rank or the percentile of the students. Okay. So to everyone who has joined uh, right now, please do share how exactly you felt, be shift one, shift two, and all. We would love to hear how exactly you felt, because ultimately you were the people who have actually, you know, undergone the exam. Now, uh, talking about a brief summary, uh, GK uh, was said to be the easiest. There were a lot of uh, monuments and history based questions this time, which is sort of, uh, I think, expected. Our focus slightly being shifted from architects and their famous works, giving a like, like more importance to monuments was there. That Max is obviously the toughest exam, was sort of average. Drawing seems to be relatively easy for most of them who have practiced. Match the following questions were quite uh, easy. Some of the questions were confusing and aptitude also. I think the non-verbal part was relatively easy is what most of our students had to. Okay. Now, we would talk about some of the questions which are asked in Arc Awareness. We would love to hear if um, you also have something to add to it. The questions on uh, green architecture, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, uh, Vastu Sangralaya, there were match the following questions, forbidden city from Beijing, cockpit of uh, Euro, probably Belgium, the questions on that. There were also uh, some interesting questions like in which Annie gives it uh, those ones. It has, I don't know the options for this question. So from what I recollect, I think it had uh, two really interesting like, uh, personalities that is Arunthati Roy and uh, Shahrukh Khan in that uh, series. So I don't know the options. If you if you know if anyone knows which were the options that were asked, we would love to you know hear from you also. Then uh, there were questions on painting. So I think this this has become the norm. I think painting questions is almost seen in all the design and architecture exams. Be it NATA, be it uh, JE paper two, you see it. We can see this almost anywhere. So Bharat Mata with uh, books, Puranas, Paddy, Rudraksha, and all in her hand. It was drawn by the legendary Abhinindana Tagore from uh, Bengal School of Art. So painting based questions and all are uh, quite common. There are lots of similarities, some, at least some similarities in terms of GK questions and all that uh, were being asked. Okay. Ajanta and Elora Caves again, UNESCO based questions, there were enough UNESCO based questions. I think that was relatively easier, probably it would have been the rocket temples or the rocket monuments that would have been there in the options. Then 
Mohanjudaro, Mohanjudaro Indus Valley Civilization, the Mohanjudaro site exactly Indus Valley Civilization is located in which country? I think Nepal, Pakistan and all were given and it was in Pakistan. So Mohanjudaro, Harappa and all are not in India. So it's sort of obvious that it might be in India, but no. Uh, Abhishek Kumavat has the first response. Okay, today's exam was easy. Okay. Yes, Chutragutta, it was again SRK in that web series. Uh, no, TV series to be frank. Okay. Uh, uh, also, to those who are going to write the next sessions or even the NATA exams, see these sites are quite important. Indus Valley Civilization sites which have uh, been discovered in India. Those are quite important. Like, for example, Lothal, Dolavira, Kalibanga, Drakigadi have one or two lines about all these things prepared. It would really be helpful. Okay. And says second shift GK was relatively tough. Yes, I, I just started collecting the paper and I think uh, collecting the questions and I think one thing that I understood was sort of similar in terms of NATA items also. NATA, I think the afternoon session was tough. JE also, I think uh, in terms of GK questions, the afternoon session was tough. Why he is joining with uh, okay. Wait. Then Babylonian Empire, Bimbetka, Bimbetka from the, the ancient Bimbetka caves from uh, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Prankit Mittal, yes, sir. The afternoon session was quite uh, weird. Okay. Uh, I would I would request the host to put up a poll so that you know everyone could see the same whether which one was a little bit more tougher. Was it the afternoon session or was it the <coughs> morning session? Okay, then uh, the architect of uh, Indian Institute, uh, Institute of Agriculture Science, I think I think that could have been uh, guessed also because uh, Achut can't be the architect is somebody who does a lot of uh, education-based institutions and all. Temple at Tajraho was probably a bit tough. I think Loktak was also a bit tough, but uh, floating islands are famous, but it's difficult. Fumdis, Fumdis are quite famous in Loktak. Uh, rich biodiversity was probably guessable. It's obvious that you will have something like that. And uh, yeah, there were other questions like Aravali. Aravali question, it's actually, precisely speaking, it's the northwestern part of India. But, uh, we'll have to wait for the answer key. Uh, what exactly is JE is going to come up with? Uh, yes, Rankit Mittal has um, an opinion. Okay, uh, a question on Hall of Nation was there. That was Raj Rewal, right? What was the original plan? Options were given as octahedron, tetrahedron, and so on. Oh, okay. Why they say, sir, our exam was so frustrating? Like it started at five thirty, and we all students were there from 2 p.m. Oh, that's quite shocking. Like, what, what was the time that was given for the exam actually by the in the second shift? Uh, then uh, river that uh, flows in London, then some of the names of famous uh, Indian uh, freedom fighters. These were the questions that were asked. So I think uh, the GK part, as most of you have already said, it was sort of relatively easier, especially in case of the first half. This is the sh first shift that we are talking about. Again, uh, probably this one would have been a bit difficult because they are not asking when these monuments were installed. In fact, they are. I think they are asking when they were declared as UNESCO World Heritage. And so that seems to be a bit uh, difficult to guess because you should also know when they were declared as UNESCO World Heritage site. That was relatively tough one. So I, I think that was the general knowledge and uh, architecture awareness part. A little bit more stress on GK monuments history probably. That is what I could understand. We would love to hear what exactly your opinions are also in the chat box. Uh, to discuss about the non-mobile reasoning and also uh, regarding the drawing session, we have our academic head Sachin sir who will be joining. Uh, Sachin sir, am I audible? Uh, yes sir, you are clearly audible. Am I clearly audible to you? Yes, your sound is good. You can, you can stop. Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Hope the uh, examination went well for everyone. So currently we are on a discussion on session one, the first session. So we will also come up with the second session analysis also. So, uh, so Suraj has, Suraj sir uh, has clearly discussed uh, the architectural awareness as well as the mathematics sections. So uh, always when we consider the JE paper two section, uh, the aptitude section uh, will be a quite easy for them for the students and uh, I think it's a, uh, a rain in the desert. So that's the major thing. So uh, aptitude section is always uh, what gives hopes to the students. Uh, it's always quite easy for them. Uh, 
so this year also the uh, from the review from our students uh, the aptitude section was not that hard it was quite easy so as expected like uh, je has the trend which has been followed by je by last year past years uh, they are just following the same pattern of the questions there were questions from uh, views different kind of views like projections like trend view or uh, top view kind of questions and uh, giving a 2d and uh, finding the 3d and giving 3d and finding the 2d so such kind of different category of projection views related question were there uh, and the non verbal reasoning section uh, i think one of the example question so uh, some figure might look like this so that is why uh, we have included this particular image so these category these kind of questions were there in the je examination and it has been repeatedly asking in the je examination also so the pattern for the non verbal especially the non aptitude section especially in the non verbal reasoning section the kind of question ha which has been uh, given uh, or asked asked by je je uh, is quite uh, similar uh, so uh, i think that is an advantage also uh, if you are going through the past year's question paper you can definitely uh, know the kind of questions uh, which you can be expected in the examination also so there were questions from uh, different kind of views related question and also uh, count the surfaces or surface counting related question uh, surface development category of questions so these kind of non verbal reasoning question were asked and uh, from the review from our students that particular section the non verbal reasoning section was quite uh, easy also okay so i think we'll just move on to the next slide okay so uh, another important part of the je section is the drawing part so drawing is really important when we consider the je paper to examinations so it carries around 100 marks for the je so each question with 50 marks so uh, also there was a pattern change pattern change means uh, a different category of question has been introduced last year or uh, last years uh, three uh, sections three sessions of je examinations that category of question has been repeatedly asked so this year also we have been expecting such category of questions that is the rendering technique so they will show you an image and uh, you have to reconstruct uh, or decode that particular image and uh, draw it using an a black and white rendering technique so that was quite uh, uh, an a question which has been uh, expected in this year also and it was a uh, what uh, last year that was a fixed question the or question was also something related to the uh, that particular image which has been given so that was a confirmed question this year which we have been expecting and also every year we can uh, we will expect a question from scene drawing uh, 3d composition like light and shadow or composing in 3d and also the 2d composition questions so these category of question where every year we have been expecting and this year also without any kind of doubt they have asked such kind of questions and one was exactly the rendering type of question in which they have given uh, an image uh, like a lady with lot of ornaments something like that and you have to recreate or decode uh, that image and uh, or proportionate you have to draw the proportionate sketch with a black and white rendering technique that was one question and another was based on scene drawing which is uh, wholly related scene drawing question and you have to color it also and another question was from 2d composition just uh, with uh, 2d shape you just have to create a composition and also they have uh, clearly mentioned that it has to show a rhythm and also they have just mentioned the color scheme also they have specifically mentioned the color scheme also so uh, such kind of details uh, color schemes or the rhythm the composition should have a rhythm so such kind of detailing is has also been asked in the drawing section also so these kind of question were asked in this year's first session also and this same pattern will follow uh, we think especially these this particular kind of pattern will also be followed in the next examination also so those who are preparing for the upcoming session do prepare these kind of topics the rendering techniques you have to practice 2d composition 3d composition and scene drawing so that's a quite good shot so yes so that's a uh, Okay. So that's about the drawing section. Yeah, I think uh, there were there was one question regarding uh, drawing. So do you want to take that? Like, what is the average box in uh, 
drawing part are they marks uh, no we cannot say that because uh, this year not uh, past years the drawing uh, part or any other section whether it's a uh, mathematics section or aptitude section drawing section has it, they only give us the percentile we didn't know what will be the kind of marks so we cannot say that uh, in particular what will be the average mark but uh, from based on the past year's evaluation uh, comparatively uh, i don't uh, think whether they will repeat comparatively the drawing part evaluation is quite liberal for gp but we don't know uh, what will happen this year but comparatively the drawing evaluation is liberal for gp paper 2 but again the thing uh, we just have to wait for the marks okay okay um there's there's one question from sohail alim sir max ka paper kaha hai to max ka questions hum log dale nahi hai isme we haven't got that many questions from uh, max that's why we have not put it okay mostly we have covered uh, gk arc awareness and uh, the aptitude based questions and also the drawing okay and uh, i think that uh, that was mostly the kind of questions that were generally asked and uh, if if there are uh, anything more that uh, you want to i just a share seven uh, mike i just share the drawing questions in the uh, screen okay to everyone who is uh, who is looking into the architecture admissions architecture entrance exams and all please note you have uh, the option of applying for nata till uh, tomorrow and uh, you can also apply for je's second session in the coming days okay so you have i, I think there's one more week for je's session too that you can also apply and also you can uh, apply for nata by tomorrow okay so if there are any any further questions you can let us know in the chat box or you can also let us know after uh, this particular video you can post below this particular video if there are any further questions or not okay so i think uh, that would be it sachin sir anything anything more to add uh no nothing in particular okay so i think that would be it and uh, for uh, for any queries or questions help or anything related to counseling colleges now related to architecture or even design you can contact us at the numbers that are provided we have our new batches uh, that are starting this week so both uh, nata je and also nata and je to mind batches are there so if anyone wants to know any further details about all these things you can contact us at the numbers that are provided okay we would love to respond to your queries whatever language you're comfortable with english hindi malayalam whatever language you're comfortable you can definitely contact us our uh, academic counselors would help you okay so we hope the session was extremely useful we'll be coming up with further sessions thank you everyone thank you host